style of rhetoric and different ways that people are able to achieve their arguments. Does that make sense? So he is really good at um, arguing, debating. He likes to kind of get involved with controversy a lot because he has a well-rounded kind of background. He's intellectual. Um, and he will often operate indirectly. What do I mean by that? Indirectly. Viv. Like, if someone's making the wrong choice, he won't, like, go up to them and be, like, telling them they're making the wrong choice. Okay, good. Like, find a way to, like, hint at it, like, so, like, they don't know that he's actually telling them that. Yeah. Good. So maybe through some passive aggression at times, right? Um, what else? Yeah. Kind of like saying something without actually saying it. Good. So a lot of sarcasm. Okay. You're going to have to kind of watch for his tone and read your footnotes because a lot of the things that he's saying will have two meanings. So people don't know that they're being insulted or made fun of like the Lenten uh, comment that he made. Or like the, like the future comments he will make. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Okay. Um, the other thing you need to note about him is that he is not only operating indirectly, but artfully. This is considered an art, what he does. And it's wildly entertaining. My head really hurts. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to get like another, yeah, 10 more minutes in. We should be good. All right. Any questions about Festy the Clown? We love him. Yes, Mia gives him a big thumbs up. Ready? Come on in. Uh huh, Maria. You are? Where are we? You are resolute. You are resolute then. Not so, neither, but I am resolved on two points. That if one break, the other will hold. Or if both break, your gaskins fall. Those are pants. Gaskins are, are pants. So why would she say that line there of the, if one break, the other will hold. Or if both break, your gaskins fall. What is she referring to? Suspenders. Yeah, good. The, the suspenders are kind of the image that she portrays for you. Um, he says, I am resolved on two points. So... When he says points, like two counts, what do your footnotes say about that? Counts. Just counts? Yep. Two counts of what? Yeah, good. Like, I have two things to say about this. And she says, oh, well, if one's wrong, snap, half your pants will fall. Like, if, the, if both are wrong, your pants are fall. She's kind of making it like the points of your suspenders. Again, every time he comes in, it's going to be largely com comedic relief. Um, it's not a lot of... Oh, people do not like him because of his job. Because they know that they're about to get somewhat offended every time he enters the room. <laughs> Mia, why do, you, why do you do the peace sign? Do you feel like you fit that role? Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Um, awesome. All right, are we ready to keep going? Apt in good faith. Apt in good faith, very apt. Well, go thy way. If Sir Toby would leave drinking, thou wert as a witty piece as Eve's flesh, as any in Iberia. Peace, you rogue, no more of that. Here comes my lady. Make your excuse wisely, you were but. All right, exit Maria. Awesome. So what, what were those last two little digs at each other? I've insulted her. Kind of. What does he What does he say there? Just take a look a little bit closer. I know we had a weekend, so we need to warm up to Shakespeare again. But you guys got this. You were doing this last class pretty well. What do your footnotes say, and what do you kind of get out of those words here? Apt in good faith, very apt. What does apt mean? When someone says something is aptly named, for example. What was that? Clever. Clever. Okay, good. Well suited. So he's like, ah, oh, good point. Very... Very well done with your jest there. My head hurts. Okay. <laughs> and then you have, um, well, go thy way. If Sir Toby would leave drinking, thou wert as witty a piece of Eve's flesh as any in Illyria. What is going on there? Yeah. Like he's saying, like, um, if Toby would stop drinking, then maybe, like, she would become, like, smart. 
smarter as like a woman. Okay, good. So do we think Toby's going to stop drinking? No. No, so this is like the expression, when pigs fly, you'll be as beautiful as any other lady in Illyria is what he's saying. Ouch, man, right? Do you guys get that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was meant to be a joke, and that's why she goes, oh, peace, like, be quiet. When people say peace, it just means silence. You rogue. What does rogue mean? Kind of a troublemaker, someone who strays from the um, norm, right? What, where have you seen rogue in modern day? Star Wars, Star Wars. good. And Isabel, why does that fit the name so well, rogue? Oh, okay. Can anyone else attest to this? Go ahead, Zion. Well, because, like, they're... I guess they're going against the order because, like, they're going yes. against, like, the first or, like, the bad guys. Yes, very good. So, rogue meaning, like, leaving what, what is normal or what is good according to law. So, she calls him a rogue because he kind of... He is rogue, right? He can kind of say whatever he wants with no necessary punishment. Um, no more from you is what she kind of shuts him down. Here comes my lady, and good luck with your excuses for her. Good? All right. Any questions? Enter Olivia with Malvolio and other attendants. Yes. What and be thy will put me into good fooling. Those wits that think they 